Hey my friends, welcome back to the channel. I am Huck and on today's Custom Friday, sure why not, uh, we're going to do something a little bit different. Today we're going to customize a steelbook. That's right, we're going to customize the Untouchables. Going to do something a little bit different with this, so stick around. All right, now before we get to customizing the Untouchables today, if you're new to my channel, please get on down there, hit like, subscribe, smash the notification bell, uh, so you get notified every time I put up another one of these custom videos, if you enjoy these. I do other things on this channel too, as you can see behind me. If you love physical media, we get out, and we do Blu-ray hunts for you guys that are a lot of fun. I do unboxings, movie reviews. I go to local exhibits and conventions and do full tours for you guys. I do live shows every Tuesday morning, and I have a trivia show that is super popular on my channel, so if any or all of those things also sound fun to you please consider liking subscribing and hitting that bell all right now let's uh let's get into the untouchables and show you what's up first of all this is an absolutely beautiful steel book just love this thing look at that deal we'll do like a little show off for you so you can really you know if you don't have it i want you to be able to see what it is that we're playing with here there you go inside look at that beautiful thing and then we'll show you the uh the artwork on the untouchables look at that oh yeah very very cool now um, the only thing that this one came with was the 4k disc that is it this was not a 4k blu-ray combo uh, so guess what I've got I have got the blu-ray right here so we're gonna take out this artwork this is actually um, because I, I was still doing customs not on camera this has slightly been the art I've already done something to the artwork which I'll show you in a second uh, but we're gonna add it to this here now let me just go ahead and show you what's up so here we go inside we got the blu-ray this is this is where this is one of those blu-rays let's see if you can see through it can you see like some of these discs it's like wow that's unbelievable uh so that's the blu-ray now what i have done already so we're actually not going to need our slicer today y'all because we've already done the slicing uh when i you know sort of took a break from doing these on cameras but let me show you what i did so on this one set that aside um Here's the uh, the artwork that's from that disc. So it's the front and the back that has been, you know, nice and custom sliced for everyone's liking so that it fits inside the steelbook case. So let's go ahead and show you how that fits in first. So you take that, slap it in right there, and there you go. So now we have sort of the artwork in there, and it also tells us what's on the Blu-ray when you flip it over on the back, which is always why I kind of keep these. So... It's going to look like that, but we need to get the disc in there, y'all. How are we going to get it in there, Huck? How we do it? Well, I got an answer for you. We're going to go ahead and remove this because we're not going to need our cutter today. We are going to show you these little bad boys. Now, these I saw. Uh, my friend Ryan over at Movies with Ryan has these little hubs I saw him using in his... Uh, steel books. So I was like, dang, dude, that looks awesome. I got to get a hold of that. I'll leave a link below for these little guys. They also work if you're putting them into the Blu-ray Amory cases. Like if you don't have uh, a two disc case and you still want to pull off uh, a combo disc, you can, you can use these as a good backup. Now, uh, here's what we're going to do. So here's our steel book opened up right there looking good. Now, here's what I'm going to tell you though. While I do like these things, this is one that I had previously in there. I kind of undid it so I could show you, we sort of start over from fresh, uh, scratch and show it to you. So these do not hold forever. Now, I don't know if they hold better in an Amory case than they do in a steelbook, but I heard my disc slipping a little bit. So these don't quite stick for a long time. I don't know why, but we're going to put a fresh brand new one in there today and um, see if it holds longer. All right, so there it is right here. Basically, we're gonna put it about right there, but let me show you the best way to put this on. So what you're gonna do is you take the adhesive off of the, uh, the hub. All right, so there it is. So there's your little hub ready to go. All right, now what you're gonna do is put it on the disc first from behind, right? Try to be very careful, there. So now I've got the hub, this is the, at least this is how I do it. Because if you if you miss eyeball putting it here in this case, it could be off to the left or right or up and down a little bit, but I want to get it perfectly in the center. So by doing that, it's good to have the disc in your hand when you do it. All right, so here we go. As you can see, we're, we're going in. 
I want to set it down before I push it down tight. I like moving it to just the right spot that I like, which is right there. So as you can see right there, it looks like we have a nice even layout here. All right, so let's just push it down. Er, 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 there. All right, and now that thing is nice and stuck in there. And when you want to take your Blu-ray out, you just pop it out. That little hub is nice and secure. I hope that one stays better. Maybe I just got a weak one before, but pop it in and let's give it a, let's give it a shake. There you go. See, it is staying put. Both discs are nice and secure inside. So there you go right there. Now you've got yourself a custom Untouchables Blu-ray 4K combo. Got the artwork from the case front and back that we're going to slap right back in here into the case. Now, another thing I like to do when building these combo packs, obviously I'm making a Blu-ray 4K combo pack since it doesn't exist that way, um, is to compare what's on the two different discs. Now, let's check out the, uh, the 4K menu here. Now, on the 4K with the extras, as you can see, we have the script, the cast, production stories, reinventing the genre, the classic, an original featurette, the men, and the trailer. So those are six things that you will see on the 4K. Now let's check out the Blu-ray menu. Now on the Blu-ray menu, right off the bat, you see you get a nice motion menu with the Blu-ray and you do not get that on the 4K. Can you believe it? Like the 4K, come on, there's no motion menu on the 4K. Uh, but this one on the Blu-ray is absolutely beautiful. And here are the extras on here. So you get uh, the script and the cast, production stories, reinventing the genre, the classic, original feature at The Men, and a theatrical trailer. So pretty much when you compare them side by side, you're getting the same stuff, but I certainly like to have the Blu-ray 4K combo if possible. So this is one where it's kind of a, an even swap. It's really just about having that nice combo of the Blu-ray and the 4K. So that is the comparison of the menus here. Uh, now let me show you something too, just uh, out of curiosity. This is just a screenshot of the 4K versus the screenshot of the Blu-ray. And I'll do a wipe right down the middle so you can kind of see the uh, Blu-ray versus the 4K. And I'll actually do it down the, through the middle so it's top and bottom. That way you're getting a little picture and text from both elements. And we can compare the two together here. And strangely enough, I like the color timing on the 4K, but it also looks a little bit softer, whereas the Blu-ray kind of looks a little bit crisper and has a little bit more edge detail, I feel like. A little bit more crushed blacks for some reason. And again, this is just taking it right off my screen, so uh, I'm just trying to show you the comparison that way. But yeah, there you go. That's that's what it looks like. Those are the two. Like I said, the, uh, the Blu-ray is on the bottom and the 4K is on the top. But there's a quick comparison of the two images. So there you go. That is it. Nice, sweet, and simple today, y'all. Customization of a steelbook. Again, if you want these hubs, they're pretty cool. Uh, maybe this one was just a little wonky. But uh, they tend to hold pretty good. I, I, it hasn't slipped out of some other things that I've put in, but it did sort of start to slip on this one, which I did a few months ago. But now I've recustomized it fresh for you guys today, so you can check it out. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for checking out my channel, guys, and this customization of the Steelbook 4K Blu-ray now of The Untouchables. If you're new to my channel one more time, please get down there and hit like, subscribe, smash that notification bell. Until next time, there you go. Catch you guys later.